So John, I guess we're standing in front of a Gen 10 uh, glass substrate here. This is, is this the type of glass that's being used by uh, Sharp at the Sakai? It actually, it actually is. We built a plant uh, at Sakai City, Japan to support Sharp's Gen 10 facility. This glass is really an engineering marvel. It's about 10 feet on each side and 0.7 millimeters thin. And this enables uh, Sharp to manufacture uh, 40 inch, 42 inch, 60 inch and above TVs that drives their costs down but also enables very large size TVs and I believe Sharp is making all of their 60 inch sets on this Gen 10 platform. And Corning has always supported the, uh, the industry to go larger for LCD TV. When I joined the business many years ago it was Gen 5 and then it went to Gen 6, Gen 7, 7.5, Gen 8. Skipped Gen 9 for some reason, ended up on Gen 10. So you can see this, this truly is an engineering marvel to be able to manufacture this glass and move it around the factory. Um, it's, uh, it's quite a feat on both Corning's part and Sharp's part. It seems like there's uh, not much of an upper limit to the size of the glass you can make as long as someone can handle and uh, hold the glass. Yeah. That's exactly right. The fusion platform we use is so flexible from early Gen 2, 2.5 to Gen 10. Um, Tech, Technology-wise, it can scale, but there are practical limits to the size of the glass you can transport based on bridges and planes and ships and containers. So uh, we're not sure at this point if we'll go beyond Gen 10, but um, uh, this is where the industry is at this point. Corning was one of the first to offer this size substrate. And in this case, you, you partnered and co-located with the, the uh, Sharp facility, so yes. you don't have to worry so much about transport. Yes, this, this glass is manufactured on that site and never leaves the site and it goes, uh, is conveyed directly to their uh, panel making factory.